fast means up and slow means down. Howdy everybody. Boy, it's humid this morning. We got some rain last night and it feels a little cooler. I can feel fall coming in, but boy, is it muggy. Um, we are going to do some work on the timber frame today. We're going to try to get it finished, leveled up, and squared, and everything ready for subfloor. So uh, I wanted to bring you all along if you're interested in that, and uh, maybe we can have a fun day. This is going to be kind of a vlog type channel, so it may include some other things too, but uh, try to make it interesting. Okay, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get our laser level set up here. I had it perfectly level here the other day, but I'm sure all has changed since then. So, see if we can get it dialed in. Not too far out. Okay, so if you don't know, this is a laser level, and this is the receiver here. And if you look over there, where we set it up, that is the uh, unit that shoots out the laser. You level it, you might be able to catch the ray from here if I get you just right. I'll be able to see it in the lens. It shoots out a laser in a circular pattern, exactly level once you level the unit. So, you turn this on here, and see that arrow It says we need to go up? That's because this hasn't been leveled yet, it has to be jacked up. So as we jack it up, the noise will change, and right now it's bugging out because doesn't do very well on the low setting, but that's what it sounds like normally. Fast means up, and slow means down. So we've got it set to level. So let's see if we can level up this uh, this joint right here. Okay, so here's the rub. We've got this beam here, and it came out a little heavy. It's eight and a quarter instead of eight. So the joint fits like it should. It's flush on the bottom, but it's not flush on the top. So I should have took that extra quarter out of the joint to account for that, and I didn't. So what we're gonna have to do here is unbolt it from the from the seals we're adding on to, uh, pick this end up with a forklift, get it up above this joint, and probably just take a chainsaw and rough it out to get it to drop down, or we're gonna have a we're gonna have a floor problem right here. And uh, I'd rather not do that. So, but there's not much we really have to take out. It'd be super easy once we get it there. It's just getting it there. So. strap y'all guys in we're gonna lose you there we go our bungee cord's amazing in case you're wondering why this joint some of you might not be some of you might be is offset like this instead of a three lap in the middle well it's because this log was short after the fact so we adjusted that joint over to take up for that length and since our pier is big enough uh, it worked out just right that's why that joints offset like that but you can see it fit tight it's just not deep enough so once we get it out we'll get the chainsaw out here and we'll rough it out and see if we can't get it back to where it needs to be
thing measures out to be exactly as it should. I don't understand why we're having such an issue here. Okay, after a little investigation here, I think, I think we have a slightly different problem than I first assumed. I think we just have a tight joint that's not letting it fall the way in. This joint was tight when we put it in and we actually trimmed it. We didn't want to trim it too much. I don't think we trimmed it enough. So, I'm going to try that first because everything measures out depth-wise correctly. So I'm going to trim this edge over here. I can tell that it was tight when it went in. Right over here on the edge. So I'm going to clean that up first. And then we're going to look at maybe cleaning up the depth a little bit. And we're going to give it another try. I think my receiver's ducking out on me. Uh, we got it though. That's where we need to be. It is just a very, very small amount high, which is good because it's going to load up. And I mean a very small amount high. I can, I can get it right by just flexing my pole here. So we're right where we need to be. And it came out real nice and smooth. And you see that? Nice and even. We put our floor joist in and we put our floor in. We won't have to deal with that being a problem there. Okay guys, so we got everything leveled. I had to do a few more things. I spared you that. I basically had to redo the process we did over again. We got everything square for the most part. I'm having a little trouble because uh, the other part of our house, see we built it in two stages. This is actually the third stage. And the first part settled somewhat because we did the piers differently than we did this one. Uh, we really should have done that way. We were in a hurry, and I'm going to have to end up replacing them. But uh, the second second piece is as square as we could get it to the first piece without throwing it off. So the issue now is 
is that I've got a bit of a, a concave wall to square to, so I'm not going to be able to perfectly square it, which shouldn't affect a lot of things terribly, but it is kind of annoying not to just have a square flat level plane. Uh, it, it's level, everything will be straight other than the last pin, the 20 foot pin will be slightly out of square. So I'm trying to figure out now if I want to trim it and bring it in and then just change the length of some of my girders. I'm not sure what I'm about to, what, what, what we're going to have to do on that. And really this is the only joint that comes to the middle here that just gets pegged so it won't move around. Everything else gets mortised. So uh, we'll go ahead and get this done. And if we get on one and we feel like it needs some pegs because it's going to be a tricky situation or something, we might look into that. But for now, I think this is all we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get these pegs in this one. That way we can move on with our project here. Now I have them marked out already. That hole makes them hard to see, but they're there. This is one of the first first pegs to be driven. Well, it feels really good to uh, get the first couple pegs drove. It may seem silly, just a couple little pegs, but it's been a long time coming. So I'm eager to drive a lot more and some finer beams and some better joints and some stuff coming together. We won't have a ton of that because it's a little different design, but that's my favorite part. <laughs> so I'm going to get cleaned up now and get all this stuff uh, put together. I'm going to add a little flap to the side of the house here to kind of divert rain away from my mortises over here uh, until we get to subflooring and all that fun stuff which should be this weekend so right after this I have to focus on floor joists and uh, and get all that squared away I also have a little bit of work at the sawmill I got to take care of before uh, for too much longer they've been waiting on that so we're gonna try to get that done and uh, well I sure would like to see some floor on this thing real soon so that's what we'll be shooting for. I appreciate you hanging out with me today. I may throw a few more things in here. We'll see how the day goes. Um, but this I'm pretty much done on. I'm just going to clean up, button everything up, and get ready for rain again. And I'll let the sun bake it for a little while, kind of dry it out, and get this oil to set in. And hopefully I can move on to a few other things I need to do with the house. Once we get the floor done, I can start figuring on the post and get all the posts locked down and ready to go. And kind of get a method going for that and we can move towards the frame so but I really appreciate y'all hanging out with me and uh, kind of being with us on our project here uh, if you like what you saw please hit the like button it helps a lot and it lets us know if we're doing right or not and if you did like what you saw subscribe and we'll get we'll get you some more stuff out there we surely appreciate it